Hello there, uh, another video. Let's look back at, uh, at last week. Um, a lot has uh, has happened because the week before we, we were seeing um, a huge move in the US dollar. This is what happens. Uh, the rate hike came, but uh, investors uh, already priced the hike in and of and also they uh, they were expecting maybe some news from the from from the Fed that they were gonna hike uh, sooner or more more times this year well all that didn't happen and the dollar fell hugely and it kept falling even last week it kept falling and it looks to be stabilizing a little bit right now um, we are at a very critical level because the 9920 when this one is will be broken then we are seeing lo it's, it's a huge support zone over here which uh, if it gets taken out we um, we will see more downside potential um, looking at this uh, this I think I can put this trend line over here maybe it's an ev even better trend line at the 9938 um, price came you it's the uh, the trading view just just shows uh, the US dollar index uh, on a daily chart um, when uh, when you see this on a four hour chart in your MetaTrader you can see that price came came to this level once and last Friday it did it did the same for the second time so that could be that we are seeing a uh, a bounce uh, in, in uh, a two times touch of the support area and uh, maybe price will lift next week um, that for the US dollar index um, let's go to the dollar related pairs which of course was relevant for that um, yes this was a setup I just shared with you guys uh, recently Let's go to the four hour chart. This is what we saw. We ran into this um, demand zone. Um, price came in and took off. Then for the second time it came in last Friday and it took off again. Um, what we need to see over here is, a, is, is the following. Of course this is a level to watch next, next week. If this one will break then we will see uh, more potential to the upside. Another one that needs to break of course is this area. Same thing. Um, I have just been watching this actually last week and there were no active trades. I, I thought maybe it would reverse over here. Uh, we, see we also see some divergence on the RSI already. So um, I haven't been trading this. I've just, just been watching this. Um, so I just pointed out the opportunity I think it was last Thursday this one is actually already reversing uh, this was one of my analysis um, also as well uh, last week um, I am in this trade I entered uh, when this trend line broke this horizontal support zone broke uh, and we w started to see more lows after this initial low got bro broken again also the retest of this uh, s uh, previous support now resistance area was um, held so more information for us to be riding this um, this is not dollar strength uh, keep that in mind this is uh, a minor correction in the Australian dollar which had great momentum last weeks but we are seeing a turnaround right now let's zoom into the bigger picture it's the same thing it's what we saw here huge momentum um, price came down touched this area for the second time and now is um, going uh, com coming down again um, the question is if it will break this this area if it does of course there's more downside potential um, we we'll have to see who knows um, we got two touches of this uh, this area and uh, price seems to be going down from here so going back to the 4 hour chart we see already that price is heading in that direction so um, I'm in it and I'll probably stay in it um, maybe a retest of this area will give me another uh, position to, to, to get in with a, with a great uh, risk reward would look like this retest we enter of course our stop will be close above this retest and then we have some great potential maybe even until here so Australian US an active trade then Australia 
let's uh, check this one out on a daily because this is what happened um, I was watching this one because uh, the supply and demand zone theory um, price came into this uh, supply zone and I expected it to turn around and go back uh, with me a lot of other traders expected the same thing but for some reason I think it had to do with the New Zealand dollar weakness and at the same time the strength in Australian dollar which gave this one momentum to break this uh, multi I think it's multi-year level and actually start moving to the upside um, going to the 4 hour chart we see what happened uh, price came in above here and then started uh, going lower um, forming this, this, this tight channel the channel got broken exactly at this support level the price continued to fall and is now stalling around this trend line let's see where that trend, trend line comes from why did we draw that that's a bigger time frame trend line I think we even have to go to the monthly this is in fact a huge trend line on the bigger bigger time frame this there's a reason for price to be reacting to this uh, we got a touch re rebound and another touch um, so maybe maybe this is already uh, forming a form of a support area um, we have to see next week we have to see if this level holds if it does we can stay in this trade I entered around here I think um, if this holds we can stay in the trade but then again this area over here needs to break um, so just to put it in the right place <coughs> that's the the setup for next week so maybe we see uh, we had we had our correction and price will go back up again but if this breaks there's more downside potential I'm I'm more considering a downside bias um, because I think this 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 could potentially come back to this uh, previous uh, resistance, long term resistance. So it's interesting to see what happens around here. <laughs> so um, maybe interesting for you guys to see how I discovered this trade. We were seeing a high, and another high, and another high, and another high. So price was was in an uptrend. Um, I think I drew in this trend line as well. So this was also information when this this trend line broke that the, this downward momentum was continuing, but that's not what I was looking at. The thing I, s I saw was that the RSI was showing very clear divergence: this high, this high, this high. Uh, the charts were going up, but the RSI was already showing that the the upward momentum was was fading. So eventually came into this area price kept falling and then there were no more um, new buyers uh, around this support zone so price fell through uh, struggled for a bit and then uh, took off to the downside so let's see where this will go next week what do we have here yes this was an interesting one as well I saw divergence already in this one so I started to short this um, I was a bit insecure about this trade because of this this area over here price moved up, up pretty aggressively then moved down again then back up again and now finally it's starting to move down again I'm looking for a nice uh, maybe a re-entry around this level because of course this needs to break for more downside potential and this needs to hold for it to not get back up again but this is this is classic classic price action um, we see a high and a lower high and we see that the market is forming lower lows as well so this is classic price action very clear trend to the downside what do we have more on the charts um, yes this was a very nice one I entered my first positions in IBM the retracement uh, came back uh, far enough actually further than I thought 
if I would extend this then we are at the 61 so this is also an indication that price uh <coughs> is is done done moving moving down um I need this one on the on four hour chart let me see I need this one I would like to see a, a convincing break of this uh, of this level to to get back up of course we will meet this trend line again um but for now this is also very important to notice that this trend this this low over here price actually touched it and moved away um this level needs to hold if it doesn't then i am not liking this so we need price to reverse next week and then last but not least my best trade again this week was in shopify sometimes you have those picks in a year and they bring you <laughs> a lot of nice moves like i said last week uh, i'm expecting this to move back again i think i had an indicator on there as well um, a moving average i think and when we see the moving average on the daily we can see that every time price comes back in that moving average area it takes off but even clearer when it comes back to this trend line it uh, it takes off again so this was a pretty obvious area uh, to bounce uh, because there was previous resistance is now support and we are near this trend line so price went all the way to 72 I went short actually around this area between the 70 and the 72 because I was expecting a small pullback <coughs> um, price fell and I started to enter around here and I think I closed out with a couple of hundred I think 700 or something uh, over here and I have some positions open so uh, I think if the market continues this move to the upside next week I will be having uh, a thousand in the in the in this Shopify move which is pretty nice so it was it was actually a pretty quiet week I uh, went big in Shopify <coughs> to get me a couple of euros um, it was not that exciting uh, I'm, I'm glad that the US dollar pairs are starting to uh, to move in a, in a nice pattern again so the Australian dollar is nice um, the US Swiss franc maybe we have a great opportunity it's, it's ca it came back very low so if, if those levels hold and we can uh, see a continuation of that um, that that rebound then uh, we have a, n a nice a nice setup next week um, I am going to my charts on the right side outside of the screen and I have one more I want to share with you guys and that's this one I also pointed this out uh, last week price is moving in a tight range at the moment um, looking at the bigger picture this one is in a uh, downward um, channel on the weekly chart so this is quite a long time um, it is uh, against this trend line at the moment um, that seems to be holding for now because when we go into the daily we can see price made a huge move to the to the to the upside and is really struggling right now if it can break this level or whatever it's wants it wants to do you see the spin bar over here again so price doesn't seem to be that um, strong we, we can see a slight touch of these trend line this trend line every time <coughs> so it looks to me that um I'm of course of course let it, it, it I'm watching this trend line let's make it clear I'm watching this trend line if that breaks we see some more continuation um if it does we first move into this support zone and if that breaks we have some more potential um to the downside so um go to my Instagram I shared this uh, setup before and it's still in play very clear charts very clear that this level needs to break this level needs to hold um, same for the trend line very very nice nice pattern so that's it for this week uh, see you guys tomorrow for the analysis and let's see what kind of opportunities we can spot for for next week see you guys bye